show is to demonstrate a microview vision machine measuring a fan assembly using only vision. I'm going to go over to the software, I'm going to choose the program and hit rerun and it asks me to place the part on the table with the logo side up to the right. I press enter. We locate datums A which is a plane looking through the holes that are located on the part. We also at the same time collect data for datum B which is the internal diameter for the pilot. We then locate a point on the tip of the blade, zero the rotation of the blade, move in a specific angle to get a height. After scanning several of these blades, this blade several, in several places, located the point which is the peak point, which is a given angle from the tip of the blade. It makes it much faster for inspection. After measuring all the blades, the machine then moves out of location, allows me to be able to flip up a message and allows me to be able to flip the part over. After flipping the part over, locating it back on the machine, I then simply hit OK. The machine relocates data may again by measuring a plane on top of the surface this time because now I'm looking at the bottom side of the part. At the same time, we also relocate datums B, which is the pilot diameter again, because it may have moved in the rotation process. We then measure the tip of the blade, moving a designated distance to measure the peak point. We do this for all nine blades. At the completion of the cycle, after the blade tips have been measured, we then have two locations. We have the location from datum B to the top of the blade and from datum B to the bottom of the blade tips. Also, using a calculator function that's built into the software, we were able to take those two numbers and add them together to get the overall blade height on each blade. The machine then moves to a safe location so that you can unload the part. And that's the end of the cycle. After the completion of the cycle, I can look at the screen and look at a log report and it will give me a list of anything that failed. You can also click on each individual feature, like the blade height. Click on the summary report and it tells you what the actual blade height was. You can even go click on a print preview of the report and ask it to show us all items that were toleranced. And what it will do at this point is it will show us top one, that's blade one, top two, that's blade two. Give me the actual values, the nominal values, the plus or minus tolerance, and how far from nominal they were. And as you go down, you'll also see the bottom one. If you continue to the next page, you'll say the blade heights as well.